Braves and welcome to KBHS TV. Today is Friday, March 16th. I'm Thomas Rhodes. And I'm Wiley Hansen, and these are your weekly video announcements. Seniors, cap and gown orders are due today. These are kind of important for graduation, so handle it ASAP as possible. See Mrs. Tinker in the main office for more information. Speaking of handling it, do you have your outfit ready for tomorrow? My outfit? You know, your outfit for St. Patrick's Day. I'm not sure I'll be dressing up. Stop acting the maggot. You're as thick as a plank if you don't plan ahead. I love St. Paddy's Day. It's so savage. Very little of what you said makes sense to me. Just watch this video. It's bang on. Roll it. <laughs> What do you think you're doing? What are you talking about? Uh, it's St. Patty's Day. Duh. And your point is? It's St. Patrick's Day. So? It's not like it matters. I was never here. Next Wednesday is our fourth school-wide summit, and organizers have been very busy preparing an excellent event. In addition to some awesome speakers and some great food truck options for lunch, our performing arts department has accepted the challenge of kicking off the event with an all-school assembly. Not everyone yet has yet had the privilege of attending a Boise High concert this year, so we thought it might be helpful to share some tips on etiquette. Here's Andrew Peterson with some helpful hints on how to best enjoy their concert on Wednesday. Take a look. This is a very fun and entertaining performance. The proper etiquette is still required. Here are a couple examples of how not to act during a performance. Knowing when to clap is one of the most crucial elements of the performance. If the conductor still has their arms raised in a position like this, this, or even maybe like this, it's not appropriate. However, when the conductor's hands are down by their sides, it means the piece is finished and now it's appropriate to give a nice clap. There are a few different types of phone users at a concert. The stealthy phone user may look like this. The photographer may look something like this. The cellos are just like bigger than yours. Dude, I didn't know that that brass was not real gold. Dude, what, what are you doing after this? You want to get a pump in? I'm feeling triceps. It's time for today's Club at Event News. Mason, tell us what's happening. I'm Mason Standout, and it's time for your club and activity report. Here's who is meeting today. K-pop, you meet in room 204. History Club is in room 504. The GSA is in room 524. And Earth Club is in room 205. Well, this has been Mason, and you are officially up to date. Back to you, Wiley. Let's turn things over to Caden at our sports desk. Caden, tell us the score. Hi, Bray fans. I'm Caden Reynolds, and it's time to talk sports. Good luck goes out to our track team as they go today to Mountain View for a meet beginning at 4.30 p.m. More good luck goes out to our softball squad as they host the Meridian Warriors this afternoon. If you haven't been able to, uh, if you haven't been out to Mountain Cove yet uh, to watch a game, then you're missing out. The first pitch is thrown at 5 p.m. You should be there. That's it. That's been your sports wrap. This is Caden reporting. Back to you, Wiley. And now it is time for today's words of wisdom. Some of the most remarkable people are those who make small, positive gestures every day. 
This week's Brave of the Week greets everyone she meets with a smile and enthusiasm. The student body gives a shout out to Delaney Frazier. Delaney was nominated because she embodies the Boise Brave culture of being active in school and her surrounding community. Delaney puts her full effort into everything she does and she never shies away from a challenge. Congratulations Delaney, Boise High appreciates you. Remember, you can make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. This has been Wiley and Thomas sharing what's up. Thanks for watching Boise High. He was meant to be, it'll be, it'll be. It's meant to be, it'll be, it'll be, baby, just let it be. So won't you ride?